Shots on goal right now, 13 to five in favor of Duluth, who had three power play attempts in the first and converted on one of them. Jonathan Gruden, Peter Krieger square off at center ice and we're underway here in the second period. Miami wins the face off back. Bray Crowder played it. Miami gets their first power play of the night as Bachman was cross-checked by Anderson in front of the UMD net. So Miami gets a lot of pressure in front of the net and Duluth makes a mistake and puts Miami in the power play. So that, that's what happens when you put pressure on the opposite team, they're gonna make opportunities. So the faceoff will be to the left of Shepard. Casey Gilling will take the draw. And the Bulldogs win it, but they can't get it out of the zone. Jonathan Gruden left point, stick handles it, walks it down the wall. Now Dashke with it at the line. Right side Gilling, his shot get deflected and into the slot. It kind of fizzled out. Now play to the near wall and Gilling on it. He's got it right hash marks up to the right point. Dashke stick handles, fired a shot in. Glove saved by Shepard. There's plenty of trap to get front, but he got a clean look at it. And Shepard buffs it down, 23 seconds into the power play and 57 seconds into the period. Face off again to the left of Shepard. Casey Gilling will take it against Richards. And a puck won by Miami, Gordy Green. Passes it back for Dashke, walks the line with it. Near circle, Gilling made a move and fires a shot in. Good save there by Shepard. And the puck now at the far point. Gruden, stick handles it, fires it to the corner. Scott Corbett by the Miami net, dishes off to Green. He skates it up the right side, goes back to Gruden. Now Dashke in the middle, fired a shot there, deflected off of Swaney into the near boards. And Casey Gilling got upended by Sandberg. Now Gilling with it. On the goal line near side, try to swipe one out to the point for Dashke. And Richards instead plays it back to center. And all the way down the ice is Juhelski here. will play it behind his net with 53 seconds to go in the power play. And the Mikey Anderson minor for cross-checking. Killing with a couple good opportunities there. Just un unable to get all the way through the net. Yep. Dylan Sandberg will rifle this one all the way back down the ice where it's stopped by Juhelski. And he will bring this one back to Mahalik. We will take it behind the Miami net and up the ice through the middle. Feeds it far side, Bachman in over the Bulldog line, has Ben Williams, Sorokin in the slot, got the feed and fired it over the net. Now at the right point, Mahala keeps it in the zone. Slides across the ice, Bachman. His shot blocked right there by Cates. And Billy Exel trying to work it out of the zone, but can't, and Phil Nyes gave it right to UMD and Sandberg quick to slide it back down the ice. And that will pretty much do it for the power play as Mahalik skates out of his own end. Anderson out of the box, and the Red Hawks 0 for 1 on the man advantage tonight. They got two shots on the last power play. Ben Lown behind his own net, a little two-on-two -two battle. Puck squirts free up the far half wall. Hawkinson fired across ice, but could connect with Lown. And now it's played up the left side as Anderson trying to go up to Kepke. A break Crowder will play this one from the right side, and it goes all the way back down around the ice. Mikey Anderson met there by Monty Graham. The puck played out to center, and Bray Crowder gets this one up the right side for Hawkinson. They're in over the Bulldog line. Anderson there kept it out of the zone, though, as he played it back to center. And UMD now will retreat back to their own end. Anderson in the near corner with it, fan on a clearing attempt. Nick Wolf passes it up to Kepke. He can't get it. Crowder shot it in for the line, and that one almost going in as Shepard barely got the pad on it. I don't think he saw that. And UMD going up their center, fires it into the Red Hawk end. Crowder there in the near corner. Long stretch pass right side, Hawkinson, and over the line, a little flip to Shepard, who plays it in behind the net. Anderson will skate it up for UMD. His stick snapped, though, on the clearing attempt. And Al Karshbach, but takes it back at center. Near side pass for Gruden. Circles it all the way behind the net. UMD with a player out there with no stick right now. That's Anderson. Left circle is shot up in the air. Gruden couldn't finish. Bachman another chance, but rifled it over the net from the far circle. And the puck comes all the way back down the ice. And played here by Andrew Sinard for Miami. He gets it to the middle. Jonathan Gruden played it near side, but it banked out the boards. Dylan Sandberg couldn't reach it for UMD. Now Gordy Green up the right side. His shot goes to the far corner and wide of the net. Gruden keeps it in at the left point. And Richards behind the UMD cage. Will hand off to Perunovic. And the Bulldogs here are going to try to start their own end, but good forechecking by Bachman, who was on there to keep Brunovich from escaping from behind the net. They finally get it to Noah Cates. He's in over the Red Hawk line, left side. 
Sennard picks it up behind the net, gets it to the middle for Gilling. Now far side, Bachman races up the ice with it. He met Anderson at the line, but taken back by UND, and Peter Krieger races behind his own net, and then takes it up the nearest boards, but he was hit in the neutral zone by Laval, who stopped his momentum, and it's played into the zone by Matt Anderson from center. At the near side circle, UND controls in their offensive end. Roth tried to fire a shot, but couldn't get it. Scott Corbett banked it off the boards. It is played with a high stick by Sweeney. Nobody wants to touch it. And finally, we get a whistle here for the high stick violation. And Zach Laval is on it for Miami, but he wanted UMD to touch, so they get the offensive zone phase off. 14.59 to go in the second period. UMD won Miami nothing. This is Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio. One in three adults has pre-diabetes. That means it could be you, your best man, your worst man. <gasps> Take the risk test at doihaveprediabetes.org to know where you stand. Brought to you by the Ad Council and its pre-diabetes awareness partners. Hey, hon, what you doing with your fun? Do flowers have best friends? I don't know. Hey, look. Whoa. Some answers can only be found in nature. Discover the unsearchable. Visit discovertheforest.org to find a trail near you. Brought to you by the United States Forest Service and the Ad Council. Imagine being fired because of who you love. Imagine being denied medical treatment because of who you marry. Imagine being evicted because of who you are. Millions of Americans don't have to imagine this. They have to live it. Because in 31 states, it's legal to discriminate against LGBT people. Get the facts at beyondido.org. Brought to you by the Gill Foundation and the Ad Council. As humans, we ask ourselves all kinds of questions. But what if we were forced to ask ourselves a question every day that affected the outcome of the most basic things, the most important things in our lives? The question is, what is your sexual orientation or gender identity? And the answer is the difference between keeping your job or getting fired. The answer is the difference between staying in your home or getting evicted. The answer is the difference between receiving medical... 14.59 to go, second period. Face off to the left of Hunter Shepard, one by Duluth, and they're able to play it out of the zone, and Colby Roth plays it to the near corner of the Miami end. Billy Exel with a four check on River Rimshaw, but Alec Mahalik comes away with the puck, gets it off high glass out to center, but Miami offside is Ryan Soroki, about three feet ahead of the puck, and Christian Mose couldn't keep it out of the zone. So 14.44 to go here in the second period. Shots right now, 13 to nine in favor of Duluth. So they have not registered a second period shot yet. Miami has had to play in their offensive zone for the majority of the period. Still not terrible crowd here for Saturday night and the weather conditions. Miami with a couple good opportunities in this period. Is Sunny able to capitalize on it? And have had uh, the Bulldogs back on their feet a, a, a little bit. Yep. Way behind the net, River Rimshaw. And a big hit there. Ben Lown was lit up at the near hash marks. Bill Nice trying to get on Dylan Sandberg, who did it. As Lown just kind of caught in a bad position, he was low. And an elbow came right up to his head, and he was leveled out. Went down on his side. Sandberg will be whistled for the penalty. The Winnipeg Jets product out of Hermantown, Minnesota. It's a little bit of uh, size differential there with Sandberg being 6'4 and Ben Lown standing at 5'7. Yeah. So. so the referee is going to review this one too for a possible major infraction. And of course, we have had, we had the, the big hit from Grant Hutton on Cole Kepke last night so maybe a little bit chippiness carrying over from that and as that game was started off really uh well played and no really not none really uh extra, extra cooker activities until that that hit and it kind of escalated there so yep. tonight's been a little bit more chippy nothing really out of hand uh, we'll see what they get here but it was a big hit i don't know if they'll call a major or not Look like the majority of the contact is in the head area, which would probably warrant a major, but we'll see what the call is with the video backing it all up. 14.25 to go on the second, and so we will see what happens here. Sandberg is 
still sitting in the box, so it looks like we're just gonna get a minor penalty out of this. Franco Vlasi receives the explanation, then they go over to the UMD bench. And Sandberg, a two minute minor for checking from behind. So Casey Gillen will take the draw. Miami back to the power play here. They are 0 for 1 tonight. Faces off to the left is Shepard, and he will go against Richards. Nick Wolf won the faceoff for Duluth. Anderson banked it off high glass out to center. Taken back here by Sweeney, and he gets it down the left side for UND. Sweeney skates it up the far boards in the circle. Feeds it to Richards, wide open shot, and a great save by Uhelski. Great save, absolutely, there by Uhelski. Keeping Miami only done one. Sweeney was kind of skating around the zone just to waste time. He had a far circle that fed it to the near side for Richards, who had all the time in the world. And Uhelski came up with a big reactionary save on the glove. And it keeps this one a 1 0 game with 141 left in the power play. So Noah Cates here will go against Phil Nyes and the face off one to the near side by Bachman. And then behind the net for Gordy Green. Beg your pardon, that's actually Mahalik. Skates it up to the middle. First side Bachman on it, played it off the backboards. Phil Nyes try to feed it forward. Noah Cates now the backhand, backhand feed. And Axel plays it all the way back down for Duluth, Miami. Still looking for that first goal of the weekend. They have not found the board against the Bulldogs, the defending national champions in the past two nights. As Alec Mahalik will get this one back at center as Duluth able to clear on the Red Hawks entry attempt. Mahalik near side feed, Lown down the right side of the zone. Reaching in was Anderson, but it goes to the corner. Phil Nye's digging in there. Soroki gets it loose for Miami and plays it to the far side. Bachman came in from the line, pokes it behind the net. Phil Nye's will wrap this one around. We're going to get another penalty here coming up against Duluth. And Nick Wolf boxes out Phil Nye's at the corner. Nye's can't touch it. He didn't want Wolf to touch it either. Now Nye's, the backhand feed. Soroki fired a shot from the circle that went off the mask of Shepard. Finally, UMD touches up. And it's gonna be a hooking call here against the Bulldogs. They're gonna send off Matt Anderson and Miami is gonna have a five on three power play for 29 seconds with 12.54 to go in the second period. Great opportunity here for the Red Hawks to try to get in the back of the net for the first time this weekend. And haven't had many opportunities, only nine shots on goal, but that's also because you're playing the Bulldogs who are third in the nation and shots allowed at 23. So. They're going to limit your opportunities. You're going to have to take advantage of it, especially when you have a five on three. So Casey Gilling here will go up against Richards in the faceoff one by Miami. Derek Dashke has a middle line, passes near circle for Gilling, back up to Dashke. Rifle to shot in, saved by Anderson, rebound clear to the corner. Richards is upended by Grun and trying to get to the puck, no call. Miami with a right circle. Gilling waits, fired a shot, deflected off Anderson to the far corner. Dashke gives it off to Gruden with nine, eight seconds to go here in the five on three. Gruden fired a shot, blocked down by Anderson. And Richards now is going to have a breakaway the other way. Dashke in on him. Richards never got a shot off. Uhelski able to save it. And there's going to be a penalty shot. As it was Dashke who came in and hooked him. And the Bulldogs are going to get a penalty shot out of this play. It'll be Richards who takes it. He was the one that blocked the shot at the other end that came down. And Derek Dashke hooked him on the breakaway and UMD will get a free penalty shot here as Richards is going to take it. He scored seven goals this year and 14 assists for 21 points. And we will see the first penalty shot against Miami since January 12th of last year at Omaha. It was in the second period of a game. Ryan Larkin saved it. So the Red Hawks here will have to make a big stop. 
Bernie Hulski. Richards picks up the puck at center, skates it down the right side, in the circle, made a move, and he scores. Wow. Justin Richards tried to fake a forehand wrist shot, then made it to the backhand and got it past Uhelski as he went from right to left across the goal mount. And on that penalty shot, UMD takes a 2-0 lead. Justin Richards, the son of Todd Richards, who we mentioned last night, yep. former Minnesota Wild coach, former Columbus Blue Jackets coach, and was reading in the program earlier that Justin Richards is the first Ohioan to ever be on the Minnesota Duluth uh, hockey squad. So that's Interesting. a first for them, and he goes and buries it in his home state. So that's obviously going to be a memorable goal for him out of Columbus. So Alec Mahalik slides it across to Bachman, and all this happening while Miami was on the power play too. So it's a shorthanded penalty shot goal for UMD. The Red Hawks still with a 110 to go on the power play, and it's cleared back down by the Bulldogs. Alec Mahalik will take it behind the Red Hawk net and skate it up to the middle. Passes one near side, Ben Lown, and over the Bulldog line, backhands one at the hash marks. Mahalik right point. Far side for Bachman, stick handles it to the left side. Back down low, Soroki tried to feather one in front for Phil Nyes, but couldn't connect. Soroki got the puck back and lost it behind the net. And Nick Wolf for UMD will play it back to the near side, and Sandberg will have all the time in the world to clear it all the way back down. And Alec Mahalik picks it up behind his own net with 30 seconds to go in the power play, 11.22 left in the second period. Corey Green up the right side with a puck. Takes it to the corner, then reverses direction. The backhand pass to Derek Dashke is at the right point. Back for Gordy Green, Gilling, back for Dashke. Far side, Gruden returns to Dashke, middle line. Gilling right circle, back to Dashke. Fired a wrist shot, went off a stick, right to Nick Wolf, and he clears. And that will do it for the power play for Miami, who goes 0 for 3. Now it's still behind the net. UMD will get a shot off here, and Uhelski with a save, Dashke. Let it go on the four check. Kepke came in and got a right in front of Larkin and fired a wrist shot that went up in the air and then right back down. So Perunovic will pass it far side. Billy Exel in over the line. Far side Miller trying to feed it to the middle. Perunovic now with it. Far circle in front. Looking for a one timer. Billy Exel has put it over the net. He had a wide open six by four cage waiting for him. Miller in the corner has the puck now. Near side, he will lose it to Corbett, who will play it out to center and taken there by Mikey Anderson, who backward skates all the way back to the UMDN and feeds it to the far corner for Perunovic. He has it in the slot, Bulldog in. Anderson, far side pass for Miller, in over the line with it. Feeds it to the circle for Roth, but he locks it in his skates and Noah Jordan will pass it far side. Bachman up the left side with a puck and he fired a shot in on Shepard and a good cut save by him as Bachman had a clear angle to the net. So UMD takes a 2-0 lead on the short-handed goal on the penalty shot by Richards. And with 9.54 to go in the second, it's a two-goal lead for the Bulldogs. This is Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio. As humans, we ask ourselves all kinds of questions. But what if we were forced to ask ourselves a question every day that affected the outcome of the most basic things? the most important things in our lives. The question is, what is your sexual orientation or gender identity? And the answer is the difference between keeping your job or getting fired. The answer is the difference between staying in your home or getting evicted. The answer is the difference between receiving medical treatment or not. Because in 31 states, it's legal to discriminate against people based on their answer to this question. LGBT Americans have the right to say, I do, but they don't have the same basic rights as everyone else. Get the facts at beyondido.org. Brought to you by the Gill Foundation and the Ad Council. 911, what is your emergency? My kid shot himself. All right, where's the wound? 911, what's your emergency? Please help. My son shot his brother. 911, what is your emergency? 911. Hunter Shepard, he will be won back by Miami in their offensive zone in River Rimshaw. Plays it to the near side for Mahalik. 
And it's backhanded into the UMDM, but it'll be icing here against Miami. 2-0 UMD leads it with 9.43 to go in the second period. On the Miami bench right now, there's a lot of head scratching going on, a lot of players sitting on the bench staring into space. Yeah, I mean, that, that opportunity there, when you have a five on three, you're expecting the goal. It's almost like uh, yeah. telling your, your kid, oh, we're going to Disney World, and then five minutes later, we're not going to <laughs> Disney World. So it's kind of- it's canceled. Yeah, so it's 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 a deflating <laughs> feeling, especially when you, I mean, you got to expect the goal when you have a five on three. Yeah. And like, to give up a goal, it's the polar yeah, opposite. Or, or at least a good, very good set of chances. Alcoholic near corner of the Miami end, wrapped around by River Rimshaw. Bachman couldn't stop it there. Sandberg finds Sweeney. And then his pass got picked off by Bachman at center, who skates it up the far side and gets it in on Shepard. UMD now with a puck at the near boards. Plays it up the left side of neutral ice. Dylan Sandberg fired it into the red hot end. Jarek Dashke with it in the corner. Plays it off the boards near side. Gordy Green catches the pass at the red line, but can't feather it into the zone. And Perunovic now in his own end for Duluth. Finds Parker McKay. They're in over the Red Hawk line. McKay backhands it to the near corner, looking for Richards. Now behind the net. They almost got it in front. It's Tufty had it. Now Richards far circle. Back to Tufty. Skates it behind Uhelski in the goal. Bachman pushed him against the boards. And now Ben Loud for Miami as the Red Hawks try to get it out. Andrew Sinard. Off to Monty Graham, near side pass, Lown, and he tried to go to the slot with it, but Sennard did not know the pass was coming. And back out to center, UMD with a rush the other way. Richards, cross ice speed, was behind Sandberg. He could quite cleanly catch it. And now Ben Lown plays it off, trying to go to Phil Nyes, and the puck into the, the Bulldog end as Miami put it in from center. Brunovich behind his own net for the Bulldogs. Skates it up out of the slot. Feeds it far side, Richards laid it in off of the blocker of Larkin. And now Hawkinson gave it off to Gilling at center as they were up the right side. This will be Kobe Bender who has the puck for UMD. He did not play last night. He's the extra forward dressed for the Bulldogs this evening at a Cloquette, Minnesota. Brian Hawkinson down the right side of the Bulldog end, played it behind the net. Sandberg stopped there against Gilling. Brunovich in the near corner, feeds it to the middle. And UMD out of the zone. At center, they're in over the Red Hawk line. Here's Cates. In front, almost tipped in there by Benner. He was looking for his first goal of the season. Sandberg left point. A wrist shot in and a glove save there by Larkin, who hangs on with 7.26 to go in the second period. Great save there by Oleski, uh, glove save. And he's he's played a pretty good game coming in for Larkin this, yep. this evening and this Kind of a tough draw here as these, this uh, Minnesota Duluth team is, is relentless on the offensive end. Shots right now, 19 to 11 in favor of the Bulldogs. Face off one back by Duluth, Mikey Anderson. It's wrapped around the boards to Miller. He's got a far corner. Mahalik tried to steal it away from him. Now Bachman to Gordy Green, and he's up the over the red line with it. Jonathan Gruden hit Billy Exel. Gruden now mm. trying to go to Bach in the slot, went through his legs. Mahalik picks up right point, goes to the circle, in the slot, fire shot, rebound in front, bouncing Buck the green, fired wide. And it comes back to the left point for Ripshot. Wide shot from the line, pad save by Shepard. Sandberg skates it behind the UMD net and up the left side, trying to stretch pass, but as it was picked off at center by Mahalik. And a rip shot here takes it back for Miami. It gets tipped in by Gordon Green. And behind the UMD net, Shepard stopped it. Noah Jordan was in on the fourth check. Sandberg, the backhand pass, comes up to Miller. He's got a far side, a diving attempt to tip it in the zone is successful by Sweeney. Eric Dashke comes out of the zone with it for Miami. He's got it up the right side, in through center. Dashke in the right circle, looking for Jordan, but he couldn't catch the bouncing puck. Jordan now in the UMD net, who climbs out of it. Most to the far corner in the UMD net for Jordan. And taken there by Krieger as he angled him out. Then a weird backhand play that was picked off by Mose at center. Brunovich gives it off to Wolf. Near side play off the board. Swainy couldn't grab it. Now Sinard will play to Perunovic. And a cross here for Nick Wolf. Perunovic again. 
Far side, Krieger in over the line with it. UMD gets set up in the offensive zone. Perunovic in the right circle, trying to feed it there. Now at the far point, Krieger. And he fired a shot in on the ice. That was patted away by Uhelski. Soroki trying to escape Krieger. Picked off at center by Tufti. We're gonna get a penalty coming up. It's gonna be a hooking call here. And let's see who it's against. It's gonna be against the Bulldogs. Peter Krieger is gonna sit two for hooking with 5.34 to go in the second period. And Miami heads back to the power play. And if you're Miami here, this is your opportunity to get back into this game here. You're you're down only two goals and, and you gotta you just gotta get on the board. You, you really just have to get the back the, the puck in the back of the net and just change things up because it, it seems like the the sink the ship is sinking here. Yep. So Krieger will sit here with his shots in favor of the Bulldogs, 20 to 12. Based off to the left is Shepard, lost by Casey Gillings. Sandberg plays it behind the net and they wrap it all the way around. But it went off the stick of Gruden at the left point and into the Miami bench. So a neutral zone face off here comes just four seconds into the power play. Busy weekend in the NCHC. Minnesota Luke Miami playing right now. Obviously, St. Cloud State, Western Michigan. A good series this weekend. North Dakota Omaha also added as well in the Denver Colorado game, Colorado College game last night postponed. The Denver bus got stuck, I heard, on their way down to the Springs. So well, you can only play with one or uh, two teams, can't play with one. Uh, you could have a little impromptu scrimmage, <laughs> but it's not going to count in the standings. No. Casey Gilling with it, Bulldog in, in the far corner, got tripped up, gets up and fires the puck to the left point for Gruden. Dashkey with it, middle blue line, near side, Gordy Green, top of the right circle, back to Dashkey. Gruden, and he fired a shot on the ice that went off the pad of Shepard. Gordy Green. Feathers went across, screwed it, back to Dashkey at the line, faked the slap shot, now back to Gruden, far circle, and he tried to play that one in, it went off of Anderson, who was kneeling down in front of the net, he's the one that's at Sandberg, tried to clear the zone, but gloved down by Green at the right point, Dashkey returns to Green, now at the circle, and he fired a shot in, loose in front, Corbett, then quite grab it, bouncing puck now at the near half wall, and Green wraps it all the way around to the left point for Gruden, 50 seconds to go on the power play, Miami with a good chance here. Green back to the line for Dashke. Dashke waits, far side Gruden returns to Dashke. He'll stick handle his way over to the left side, leave it there for Gruden and Miami is gonna get a penalty. Nick Sweeney went down as he was trying to go get that loose puck as Dashke left it for Gruden at the blue line and that will wipe out the Miami power play with 37 seconds left in it. So we will skate four on four as Scott Corbett, the guilty party, will receive a minor for cross-checking with 4.11 to go in the second. Tried to get away with that. It looked like they were going to lose the puck and, get, and Duluth was going to get out of the zone. So tried to get away with it and then ends up uh, committing the penalty and he's going to head to the box. As Duluth's really just packing it in the net. Miami can't even get the puck to uh, Shepard there. So they just got to get it through. And we'll take immediate timeout, too, with even strike play. So 4 left to go in the second period. We'll skate 4 on 4, 2 nothing UMD. And this is Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio. Adopt US Kids presents What to Expect When You're Expecting. A teenager learning the lingo. Jelly. Jelly adjective. Jelly is a shorter, better way to say jealous. As in, Chloe, I am like so jelly of your unicorn phone case. You don't have to speak teen to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. Visit AdoptUSKids.org. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Adopt US Kids, and the Ad Council. I'm probably okay to have one more drink before I drive home. I'm probably okay. I open the window to stay alert. Probably okay. I just popped some gum in my mouth. Step out of the car, please. I probably made a mistake. Probably okay isn't okay when it comes to drinking and driving. If you see a warning sign, stop and call a cab, a car, or a friend. Buzzed driving is drunk driving. A message brought to you by NHTSA and the Ad Council. Adopt US Kids presents what to expect when you're expecting. Keep 
Candy Arena in Patrick Eschie, Kenny Shearlinger back with you here from Steve Candy Arena in Oxford. UMB two, Miami nothing. Bulldogs looking for their second, for their sixth sweep rather of the weekend, their second win on the weekend. Face off here to the right of Uhelski. It will be Phil Nyes against Richards. Richards, the penalty shot goal earlier on in the second period that gave UMD the 2 0 lead. Duluth back home next weekend against Nebraska, Omaha, Miami back home. Or they are going to be home again against Colorado College. Phil Nyes with a puck behind his own net, fed it back for Ben Lown, who skates it around behind the Miami net. And now we'll feed this one to the near side for Phil Nyes. Nyes up the right side with it, mm. and he will get shoved off there by Anderson as the puck goes behind the Bulldog net. This one played up far side. Noah Cates with it. Far circle. He will feed this one across for Krieger at the top of the left circle now. And he'll go back to the line with it and go across to Perinovich. Power play here for UMD now as the penalty to them expires. And they'll have it for a minute and eight seconds. Down in the corner, Krieger walks up the boards with it in the circle. Near side, a slap shot fanned on by Sweeney as he had a wide open look. And Miami able to pounce on the loose puck and clear with 3.03 to go in the second period. Perunovic with it behind his own net. Karch Pachman, the only four checker in the zone for Miami. And Perunovic feeds it near side. Krieger walks it out of the zone and into center. Krieger in the circle, far side feed. And over the line was Anderson. Krieger gave it right back to him. Wrapped around the boards now to the left side. Perunovic pinched in from the point. Bachman trying to get on it. And now it's Peter Krieger out at center and he will feed this one back to Sweeney and UMD in over the line again. Sweeney cross ice, Perunovic left point. Now Sweeney middle line. Perunovic, Sweeney, far circle. Here's Krieger, thought about the shot, takes it back to the point, and he fired one in, big rebound after a pat save by Uhelski, and Kobe Roth chases it after it in the far corner. Perunovic at the line, feeds this one across, Krieger back to Perunovic, cross ice feed, he fired in there by Anderson, blocked down by Hawkinson, Noah Cates, Anderson, far side. Now it will be Noah Cates, and he Made a shot there from the line that was saved by Uhelski again. We're back to even strength play. Richards far half wall. Russell the backhand feed in the circle looking there for Corbett. Hawkinson couldn't grab it either. And then Russell will back this one and reverse it all the way around to the near boards. But UMD keeps it in. Makai fed one to the slot. Tufty slap shot went 10 feet over the net. And now it's played to the near corner. Crowder couldn't play it out at the circle. Richards. Up to the left point for Anderson. Cross ice, Sandberg stick shattered on that attempt. And now Tufty in the corner slides down with a puck. They're digging after it. Craig Crowder and Richards. As Sandberg was at the far point right in front of the UMD bench, he got a new stick from the bench. So Mikey Anderson now left side plays it in over the line, but they're offside. And that stops the clock with a 110 to go in the second period. As Miami started the period off well, but Kind of mellowed out of here over the past few minutes, and UMD leads his yachts 22 to 14. Lots of time in the left side of the, the rink here as Duluth has really been pressing hard to try to get their third goal against this Miami Red Hawk team and almost put them away. I think you only need three goals for your UMD. Of course, anything can happen, but yeah. the way Miami's offense has been playing so far tonight, they've got chances, but... For UMD, you're relying really on your goaltender, Hunter Shepard, and he's done really well for them this weekend. Has not allowed a goal yet. Most wins in NCHC. Yep. 13. Looking for his 14th tonight. Scott Perinovich feeds it far side. It's going to be an icing call waved off against Duluth as Perinovich was just behind the red line. UMD, though, keeps it in the offensive zone. Perunovic far point, passes it in front, got tipped there by Cates, and he fired a rebound shot wide. Nick Wolf, left point, rifles it down the left side boards. Play there in the corner by Kepke. Up to the line, Perunovic fired a shot block right there by Soroki. Gruden plays it up the right side of Soroki now, and they're in over the Bulldog line and in the near corner, but Miami will dump a change. 
This one passed out to Laderoot. He's got it near side. Now Kepke with a puck. Fires one from the line right into the breadbasket of Uhelski, and the clock stopped with 14.4 seconds left in the second. Face off will come to the right of Uhelski. And it will be Miller against Graham. All start on the first attempt, now they win it back. Sandberg, and his shot from the line was fired in off a stick and out of play. So we'll do it again with 11.1 seconds to go in the second period, and the faceoff again will be to the right of Uhelski. Miller going against Monty Graham. For the second straight draw. Uelski, the backup goaltender, getting a lot of reps tonight. Lots of shots. You might even think, too, that he could possibly take Ryan Larkin's starter position after Uelski has played pretty well. They've given up two goals tonight. As the period ends, the puck clear to center, but Uelski has come in relief a lot of times this season and been shut down in the games he started. Has yeah. played decently too. Definitely agree with that. He's done a very good job with coming in and having the right mindset and coming in ready to play. So that brings us to the second intermission here from Oxford, Miami, with some work to do as they head to the locker room before period number three. It's 2 0 UMD. They have the shots advantage too, 24 to 14. And the Bulldogs 20 minutes away from their sixth sweep of the season. And Getting six points on the weekend here in the NCHC standings from Oxford. We'll take a quick break. And after this, the third period call coming up next. You're listening to Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio.
In a matter of seconds, she turned herself into a great mathematician or an entrepreneur. Her knowledge was limitless and still is. She could also make monsters disappear, especially those that lurked in the shadows under the bed. Once, this woman put back together a teenage girl's broken heart, which had been shattered in a thousand pieces, just by giving her a bear hug. She masqueraded as a regular person at work, but as a superhero at home. Everyone knows her as Gabriella. I still call her mom. Your hero needs you now, and AARP is here to help. Find the care guides you need to help, complete with tips and resources, at aarp.org caregiving. A public service announcement brought to you by AARP and the Ad Council. You love them enough to do anything for them. Dad, can we make 200 cookies for my bake sale tomorrow? Let's do this. Including checking NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're correctly buckled in the back seat. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. If you... From Oxford, UMD 2, Miami nothing. And if the Red Hawks want to possibly squeak out some NCHC points out of this weekend, they're going to have to do something very quickly. Kenny Schierlinger and Patrick Eschen back with you here from Oxford. The opening faceoff, or the third period faceoff, rather underway. Rourke Russell fire the puck in from center down below the goal line. And Dylan Sandberg will race up the left side with it for UMD and get it to the red line and fire it back in. To the near boards. Sweeney handed it off to Cates. Gave it off to Peter Krieger now in the corner as UMD controls offensively here. Krieger back up to the line. Perunovic, the centering pass across. Played into the zone and behind the net by the Bulldogs. And they try to feed one to the slot, but nobody was home. Taken back by Bachman. And he'll get it up through center. Feeds it off in over the line. Hawkinson lost it to Richards, who's up the right side and over the line with it. And Makai is shot from the far circle, saved by Uhelski. And Hawkinson able to golf it back out to center for Miami, and UMD fires it right back in. Up and chase game for the Bulldogs in the later stages, and that's what worked for them last night, too, when they got up by four goals. Bucket center ice now. Ben Long gets tripped up, no call. Perker Makai, the only one back for UMD. He fires a clean look from the far point. And it's a good save there by Uhelski. Now Casey Gilling, far boards. Alec Mahalik, near side pass, rim shot off the left side. Will rifle this one all the way around the boards in the UMDN. Far half wall Lound couldn't pick up the loose puck, and it's taken back by Kepke. He will dish off far side of Laderoot. Laderoot top of the circle. Down low for Kepke, and works it out of the corner. Play him up to the slot that circles back. And has it down the far side. Fired a shot in front. Uhelski made the save there. Kepke up to Anderson, but he couldn't catch the pass at the right point. It skipped over a stick and outside of the zone. And he'll play it back in, and UMD will regroup. Anderson Hart passed the puck behind the Red Hawk net. Derek Dashke comes up to the left corner. Cross ice feed to the far circle. Sinard played it off the boards. Got tipped by Soroki, and there will be no icing as Shepard stops it behind his own net. Perunovic reverses direction behind the cage. Anderson comes out with it. Near side pass to Miller, who feeds it back to Perunovic. And Perunovic will get it near side to Roth. Tipped it into Billy Axel. Now Miami trying to get it out of the zone, but can't. Roth took over there at the line and golfs a pass back into the far side. Axel walks up the wall with it. Near side feed. And Wolf lined up for a slap shot, but bad save by Uhelski. And now Perunovic at the line will fire this one back in behind the Red Hawk net. Russell wraps it around the near boards for Christian Mose, back out to center. Miami able to chip it back in. This is Dylan Sandberg in the corner, and he will come up the left side of the ice with it for UMD. Sandberg, the backhand feed, as coming into the zone and down the le left side was Jade Miller. Now Jonathan Grun at center for Miami. Bachman far side, and over the line, stops in the circle. Well, play that one in front, got tipped by Green and off the mask of Sandberg. Puck went to the far corner. Gruden's cross his ice feet, picked off by Snary. And here comes Anderson down the left side. Mikey Anderson got stripped by Gruden. It jumped off his stick and will be no icing going all the way back down to the UMDN. 
Peter Krieger up the right side with it for UMD. Gets it in over the line with it. Now Derek Dashke. The cross ice pass for Sennard. And then back to Dashke, left circle. To the middle, Gilling. Far side feed for Hawkinson. Backhands it at the red line into the far corner. Perunovic and Corbett going after it. Now a near side play for Dashke and it went off his stick. And then off of Mikey Anderson. Snary up the left side. Made a nice move there on Sennard. Puck comes behind the net as Krieger has it in the right corner. Now Dashke with it behind the goal line. Fed it up to Gilling, and they're gonna score. UMD will take a three nothing lead as Casey Gilling could not handle the loose puck that came off the board. Sweeney waiting right in front of the net. Right place, right time, buries it. On the blocker side of Uhelski, and the Bulldogs have a three nothing lead with 15.47 to go in the third period. Just snuck it in there under the crossbar and bounced right out with ref got the goal and it's three nothing. Minnesota Duluth, Red Hawks uh, really struggling here, trying to just take away something positive in this third period. And they really have not been able to find that quite yet. Puck here after the draw along the penalty box. Phil Nyes plays it into the UMDN with 15 and a half to go in the third period. Nick Wolf played it out to center, went off the stick of Bray Crowder and back down the ice. No icing call here. Mark Russell stops behind the Miami net and waits. And he'll skate it up here through the slot. And dish off to Phil Nyes, who gets to the red line and dumps the puck in. Dylan Sandberg feeds it up the right side boards to Richards. Now back to McKay, who goes cross corner dump in from center. Alec Mahalik, backhand pass for River Rimshaw. Up the left side, went off the stick of Soroki. Now Perunovic to cross ice feed to Anderson. Mikey Anderson gets to center, cross cornered up it for him to the near side. Laderoot made a nice check on a Rimshaw in the near corner. Loose puck in the right circle. And it's batted out of the air by a, about three sticks. No high sticks whistled. Kepke strips the puck from Moe's in front of the near boards. Laderoot far circle with a red hawk in. Tried to fire one, but he got blocked. And Anderson, far point, rifled a shot that went wide. Soroki near half wall. This one comes down to the corner. Kepke on it for UMD. Got shoved off by Mahalik. Soroki picks up the loose puck. He backhands it into the crowd. That neutral ice into the second row. Everybody okay down there. And that stops the clock with 14-19 left here in the third. UMD three, Miami nothing as they score a goal. And we hit immediate timeout. This is Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio. No word in the English language is less convincing than probably. Are you sure we should get matching tattoos on our first date? Sure, um, we'll probably stay together. Probably? <laughs> it's been 23 minutes since I ate. I can probably swim. Uh, you should wait 30 minutes. Mm, okay, now tell me what to do. Cannonball! Cramp! Oh, I have a cramp. I can probably hit the green from here. Probably. Can I get a mulligan? Ready to go? Hey, are you sure you're okay to drive? Yeah, I'm pretty sober. Yeah, I'm probably okay. Probably okay isn't okay, especially when it comes to drinking and driving. If you're drinking, call a cab, a car, or a friend. Buzz driving is drunk driving. A message brought to you by NHTSA and the Ad Council. To protect his home and family from disaster, Steve used courage, wisdom, and his camera phone. That should do it. Way to go, Steve. By simply taking digital pictures of his family's important documents, Steve can always have them stored safely online, no matter when disaster strikes. Learn other simple ways to... Offensive zone draw coming for Minnesota Duluth to the left of Jordan Uhelski. Peter Krieger will square off against Rourke Russell and the faceoff one to the near boards by the Red Hawks and they'll play it out to center. Karch Bachman in the circle, played it deep into the UMDN. Nick Wolf clashing with bodies with Gordy Green in the far corner. Now Karch Bachman has it in his skates. Krieger tried to knock it loose. And Nick Wolf behind the Bulldog net, stripped there by Gordy Green. Gruden in the near circle, tried to feed it across, and Bachman wasn't there for the feed. And Puck comes all the way back down to the Red Hawk end. 
Derek Daschke banks it off the near boards. Noah Cates finds it for UMD, and they quickly get it in the offensive zone. And a good shot there by Nick Wolf. He got the feet across and walked in from the left point right to the Brett basket of Uelski. And he holds on with 13.43 to go in the third period. UMD leads the shots 30 to 14. And if the Red Hawks can't muster a third period goal, they will have scored none on the weekend. Of course, shut out last night, four nothing. Puck up the left side boards. Backhanded in by Miller. Mark Russell behind the Miami net. We'll play that one to Hawkinson, and now it comes up to Scott Corbett, who's in over the line with it for Miami. Roth trying to get the puck in the near circle. Dylan Sandberg now, the backhand play behind the net to Mikey Anderson, and he passed it up the near side to Roth and through the legs of Billy Axel. Now Crowder trying to stretch past there at neutral ice, but a missed killing, and it'll go for an icing. So the faceoff will come all the way back down to the Red Hawk end with 13.08 to go in the third period. As the crowd has thinned out considerably at the second intermission. Miami back home next weekend against Colorado College. Friday and Saturday series, 7.35 Friday, 7.05 Saturday. Hopefully a little bit more students Come to those games. The class is starting up in a few weeks. UMD with a shot from the slot by Anderson and missed. Brunovich now, the backhand feed for Mackay, walks it down the right side. Got disrupted there by Gilling, and then Corbett fires it back to center. And played here by Matt Anderson. Gave it up to Richards, hit there by Ork Russell as he played it in over the line. And now the puck at the near half wall. And Backhanded out by Graham. The UMD gets it back to center. Mackay into the center circle. Richards will then go back to his own end with it. And dish off to Matt Anderson who goes cross ice for Perunovic. Perunovic, long stretch pass forward. Laderud couldn't catch it. They're going to wave the icing call. And UMD will set up in the offensive zone. Puck at the near point. Kepke rifled a shot, bounced up in the air off of Russell. Phil Nice picks it up, high slot. And backhands one out to River Rimshaw, who plays this one in over the line and deep it to the UMD end. Sandberg picked it up behind the Bulldog net, and his pass got a bounce in front of Monty Graham. Had a wide open opportunity in the slot, but rifled it wide. Rimshaw fired in a Shot from the left point that went off the pads of Sandberg. That was a weird bounce, and Monty Graham was at the right place, right time, just couldn't finish. Kepke will catch the pass here for UMD, then it comes to the near boards. Laderud on it for the Bulldogs. As he is tied up now with two Miami players. Christian Mose couldn't get it out of the zone. Rimshaw now in a little battle with Laderud. They keep holding each other's sticks. Mahalik plays it to the near hash marks. Rimshaw, stretch pass out of his own end, trying to go off the benches to Soroki, but UND takes control. And they've got it in their own end now, as it is Mikey Anderson for the Bulldogs. LA Kings draft pick goes far side for Wolf, tipped into the zone by Exel. Uhelski shovels it to the far corner behind his own net for Sennard. Buck reaches Dasky, Dashky near side. And he played it up to center looking for Bachman, but UND gets it deep again. Sennard off the near board. Screen fires it in from center. Shepard behind his own net. Wraps it around far side. Exel finds Krieger in the circle. He'll skate it up the left side and dump it in from the red line. Into the far corner it goes. Dashke hugs him up against the Dasher boards behind Uhelski. Now the puck works its way up to the corner. Sennard. Trying to battle there with Krieger. Now it's Noah Cates who comes away with a puck. Near side feed, Perunovic top of the right circle, rifle to slap shot, and Yehelski makes the save with 10.09 left in the third period. Halfway through this third period, Red Hawks haven't really got anything going, and neither team's really got anything going here, but kind of just cruising through the rest of this 
period here is Minnesota Duluth. Miami is just going to have some pride, show some pride, and make it tough on them. Got to create momentum for next weekend against Colorado College, too. As this one will go all the way down the ice for an icing as Miami cleared it out of their own end. Obviously hard to diagnose what's going wrong with this Miami team, but you look at who's scratched from the lineup tonight. Josh Melnigel with an injury. He's a captain. Grant Hutton, a healthy scratch this evening, watching from the stands for the first time this season. He's a healthy scratch, too. Or a captain, I mean to say. He's a captain as well, so. Both of your main captains are not playing tonight for Miami. Not an excuse, but each out for different reasons. Of course, Hutton was kicked out of last night's game in the third period with a game misconduct for a bad hit. Puck stopped here in the neutral zone for an offside, and we'll get a timeout. 9.48 to go in the third period. Bulldogs three, Red Hawks nothing. This is Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio. To protect his home and family from disaster, Steve used courage, wisdom, and his camera phone. That should do it. Way to go, Steve. By simply taking digital pictures of his family's important documents, Steve can always have them stored safely online no matter when disaster strikes. Learn other simple ways to protect your home and family before a natural disaster at ready.gov. That's ready.gov. A message from FEMA and the Ad Council. Opiates has taken everything and everyone I've ever loved away from me. Everything. I blew my ankle out and I got prescribed pain pills by my doctor. If making my detox public is going to help somebody, I'm all for it. So I just wish I would have had a warning. Opioid dependence can happen after just five days. Know the truth, spread the truth. A message from Truth, the Ad Council, and ONDCP. Hey, this is Reba McIntyre, and I wanted to take a moment to talk to you about a serious problem right here in our own backyard. Did you know that there are nearly 16 million kids struggling with hunger in America? That's one out of every five precious children in this country who might not get to eat dinner tonight. But hope is just... Yeah. 948 left, third period. New Jazone face-off coming for Miami. And it will be won by the Bulldogs to the near side. Ray Crowder played it out to center. It was left there and played in the zone by Mikey Anderson. Now Richards behind the Miami net. Plays the puck to the near side. Mackay in the corner, couldn't grab it. Then Richards wraps it all the way around the boards for Sandberg. He was hit there by Hawkinson, but Sandberg comes away with the puck and fires it all the way around near side. Mikey Anderson near half wall for Richards. Up to the line, that one fired wide by Sandberg. And Corbett up for center for the Red Hawks. Corbett. Far half wall. Sandberg played it. Mikey Anderson now. River Rimshaw off the high glass. Sandberg now for UMD. Played it back. And Mikey Anderson slaps it out to center in front of his own net. Phil Nice. Near corner. Anderson. Far side Sandberg. Up to center for Krieger. Now Bender down the right wing with it for Duluth. Centered in front. Kepke there trying to get a stick on it. And Helski bats it away to the far side with a stick. Ben Loud trying to come out of the zone with it for Miami. Phil Nice played it in for center. Deep into the UMD end. Brunovich skates it up to left side. Cross ice feed. Bender in the right circle. Glove down there by Noah Cates. Now Noah Jordan with a puck for the Red Hawks in the near hash marks, and Moe's will backhand this one out of the zone back to center. Nick Wolf, far side feed. Prunovich waits in front of his own bench. Now Wolf in the center circle. Fires it in off high glass over the head of Uhelski. Andrew Sennard past one near side. Christian Moe's in over center with it, and he'll backhand this one all the way for Matt Anderson. Behind that, Noah Jordan gave it back to Moe's far circle. The feed across did not go. Work Russell played that one in. Ryan Soroki got tied up with Matt Anderson in the circle. Couldn't pick up the loose puck. 
Now Miller gulps it out to the center ice. Bouncing puck couldn't be handled by anybody. And now in the circle, UMD gets control. Exolo will fire it into the seats on the near side. 7.27 left, third period. And the neutral zone faceoff coming up here on the near side toward the Miami end. Peter Krieger will go up against Gruden. And Gruden and Miami able to take the faceoff here. One to the defensive pair. Russell cross ice for Crowder. Played it in right side, and UMD will bat this puck out of midair into their own bench. 7-17 left here in the third, and the faceoff will come inside the Miami offensive zone to the left of Shepard. Rudin scores off against Krieger. Nick Wolf played it to the corner. Prunovich off the far boards to Cates. Now Russell to the near side for Crowder. And he wraps it all the way around the boards back for work Russell. Russell skates it out down the left side with a puck. In over the line, Red Hawks were offside, but then the puck goes back to center and Jonathan Gruden will give it back to Rourke Russell, the defenseman. Banked it off the far board, Scordy Green trying to feed it up ahead. No icing call here as Gruden meets the puck and Nick Wolf in the near corner. Bachman gives it back to Gruden. Try to angle Wolf off who pinches him up against the boards and Miami trying to get a pass to the left point. Rimshaw pinched him but couldn't get it past Sweeney. Now Gruden a centering pass from behind the net. Brooke Riley Tufty took that one all the way back. And he skates up the right side with a puck here for UMD and will take a tour of the neutral zone. Get in over the line, left side, behind the net, Rimshaw picks it up for Miami. Far side, Bachman couldn't feed it forward. Now Scott Corbett plays it in and chipped it in at the line. Now behind the net, Dylan Sandberg. Stolen by Hawkinson. Near circle shot by Gilling. Big rebound to the high slot. Lots of white jerseys there, but nobody could get a stick on the puck. As UMD and Tufty able to clear this one all the way back down, and it will be an icing call as Mahalik, the only one back from Miami. And 5.45 left here in the third period. And Red Hawks will get an offensive zone draw. It will be to the right of Shepard, Phil Nyes against Justin Richards. One by the Red Hawks, Dashke a shot from the left point. Rifled in wide, Sennard couldn't keep it in. Now Phil Nyes playing as a defenseman, goes cross ice for Dashke, lounging over the Bulldog line with it. At the left side, along the hash marks, Nyes trying to dig in there as well for Miami. Samberg gloves it down behind the net. Monty Graham trying to get past him. Now Mackay in the corner with a stick hooked up near him. And he's going to be called for a hooking call as Mackay was, I guess, holding the stick at a Monty Graham's hands. They're actually, they're going to call this on Monty Graham. Because Graham was hooking Mackay, and that's what caused the stick to go up into his face. So the Red Hawks here. Short-handed with 5.19 to go in third period for the next two minutes. And UMD with twice as many shots as Miami, 32 to 16 is the count. Peter Krieger will square off here against Hawkinson. Roth. Up to the left point, Perunovic walks the line. Backhand pass for Sweeney. Back down low is Krieger, and they get it up to the line. A good save by Uhelski as Noah Cates from the near point rifled a shot. And Uhelski was down, but it bounced up and went into his glove. And so the faceoff will be to his left with 5.05 left in the third period. 
147 to go in the power play to UMD. And the draw one back by the Bulldogs. Perunovic in the slot, near circle for Noah Cates. And he fired one in the breadbasket of Uhelski as he was sliding to his right. And that stops the clock with 4.57 to go in the third period. Another face off near circle in the Miami end. Noah Cates won it for UND. Back to Perunovic. Noah Cates again. Krieger. Perunovic returns to Krieger from near circle. Back to Perunovic. High slot. Krieger near circle. Fired it far side on Uhelski and it went wide. Perunovic now left point. Give and go with Krieger, who's got it now at the near hash marks. Walks up to the point with it for him. Now in front of the net, and a good tip there by Roth, who was standing between the hash marks in the middle. And Uhelski made the save with a pad. It's gotta be hard for Jordan Uhelski to come in and start tonight, give up three goals, get no help at all this weekend from your team at all, and still expect to be a performer that wins games. And for him, coming in relief for Ryan Larkin last night with 14 minutes to go in the second. And then Larkin becomes a backup goaltender for tonight. And we'll have to see what the situation will be with the goaltending for the rest of the year. Of course, it could always change, but Uhelski has been the better goaltender by far as of late. Yeah, Larkin started off hot, but as of late, no, really hasn't been able to produce, and it's... Kind of a situation of what have you done for me lately? And Uelski's played pretty well despite the, the goals he's let in, but it's a tough team and his defense hasn't helped him out too much. So Mackay fed it to the slot for Riley Tufty, who fired it wide on Larkin, or Lugowski rather. Yeah, you're right. It's just been a tough, tough go of things for Miami lately for everybody. Sandberg trying to feed it across UMD offensive zone. He gets it back at the right point. Now down to the circle. Tough D, a bad angle shot. A block down at the goal line by Sinard. And UMD able to get control again. Sandberg for Mikey Anderson at the top of the line. And now in bounce in front of Uhelski, but stayed out of the net as he was looking the other way. They get up to the right point with the penalty expiring. Sandberg fired a shot in. Sinard. Could not grab it. Now Bachman will play this one up to the near boards for Dashke. He finds Hawkinson with it. Brian Hawkinson and over the Bulldog line. 3.03 to go in the third period. And Miami still searching for the first goal of the weekend. And the series finale tonight. 3-0 UMD. Pass to the far side for Anderson. Long stretch pass, tipped by Kepke at the Miami line and comes all the way back to the near side. Casey Gilling behind the Miami net, circles back to the near boards with it. He will race up to the neutral zone and feed it in from center. UMD first to it behind their own net, Nick Wolf. Four check from Miami has been pretty much absent tonight. Playing up the near side, here is Cates. Just played it there as Lown took over at the top of the circle. Now a scrum in front of the penalty box near boards at center ice. Ben Lown takes a loose puck for Miami and gives back to Russell. Then we'll skate it and give it back to Crowder in his own end with two minutes to go in the third. Crowder dumps it in. Nick Wolf behind the UMD net. Taken there by Ben Loun. Now Perunovic digging as well for the Bulldogs. Nice. Monty Graham now fed it up to the line. Rimshaw fired it in from that place. And Shepard deflected it to the corner. And then UMD clears it all the way back down the ice, but no icing. River Rimshaw reverses direction. This is Mahalik, who banked it off the boards. And now Bachman will fire it in from behind the net. And it's wrapped around the near boards for Billy Exel. Karch Bachman 
Backhands went to the corner, Dylan Sandberg. Far side feed. This will be Matt Anderson for UMD, who takes a tour of neutral ice at the top of the right circle, fires one in. Uhelski will cover it up. And the clock will stop with a 1.01 left in period number three. So the Red Hawks tonight, if the result holds, which it likely will at this point, will fall to 9, 11, and 4 on the season. And the winless streak will extend to 10 games. Now Kate's fired a shot. Blocker down by Uhelski. Krieger far corner with it for UND. Goes behind the net in the left circle. They try to fire a shot, but Uhelski got a pat on that. And it's played all the way back down to the Bulldog zone. Sandberg. Mikey Anderson got hit in the corner. Dashke left point, cross ice feed, but nobody was there to grab it. Sandberg behind the Bulldog net with 28 seconds left. Cates, backhand play, now Dashke with it. At the right point, fires it there for Soroki, and it went off of Anderson, and he will play it off the boards, looking for Tufty, but it goes back to center. Moe's down the left side, 11 seconds to go. He's in the corner, feeds it in front, Noah Jordan, now it's loose in front of the cage. And he would be able to come away with it and clear. Three, two, and one seconds left, and that's gonna do it. The horn sounds, and we are done from Goggin Ice Center in Oxford. The University of Minnesota Duluth Bulldogs come away with a series sweep this weekend on the home ice of the Miami Red Hawks. 3 0 your final on this Saturday night as the Red Hawks outscored. 7-0 on the weekend. They've been shut out two games in a row. And it's just not clicking right now for Miami, Kenny. It's definitely not clicking, uh, say the least there. I mean, you look at the final shots on goal with uh, Minnesota Duluth with 39 compared to Miami 17. And you lose 3-0, you kind of turn to that and see uh, the more opportunities you're going to get, the more uh, goals you're going to get put in the net. So. I was going to have to bounce back from this. Like you said, they're, they're really, really uh, falling fast here and uh, have dug themselves into a very deep hole. Uh, the only good news really next week is they have the team in the basement of NCHC coming to town. So maybe a little bit more of an uh, even opponent for them that they can hopefully get in the back of the net and, and score some goals and, and just kind of get that bad taste out of their mouth that they've had in their mouth for a long time, a couple yeah. of months. So it's uh, tough for the Miami Red Hawks, but you know they're just going to get back to work and and, and grind all, all week and come back next weekend and try to try to win a series. That's right, man. Just trying to get a win on the board here in this tough, tough stretch of the year. Ten games without a win now for Miami. The last one coming November 17th at Colorado College. The team will go play next weekend. Which their last win was against. So Miami 9, 11, and 4 on the season. That's their new record now. They stay at 12 points in the NCHC standings for Minnesota and Duluth. They're up to 22 points now. So depending on the Western Michigan game, they have gone up in a second place in the NCHC with the win tonight. So 3 0 your final score for Kenny Shearlinger. My name is Patrick Geshin saying so long and thank you for listening tonight. From Goggin Ice Center in Oxford, Ohio, this has been a presentation of Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio. Thanks again for listening, and have a great night.